<clears throat> Let me give this a few seconds here. Hi, New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm going to make a quick video here. I'm not going to wait real long and, you know, do a big thing here. But uh, I need to say something about this. This is just getting out of hand. It's ridiculous. So I'll wait till a few more people come in. So <clears throat> hopefully everybody's doing good, as always. Like I said, I'll just give this a few more seconds here. Okay. A bunch more people. Hi. New Hampshire Sparky, Emma Jane, Ethan Bolin, John RL, KJV Truth Tracker, AB, Oz, Jesse Links, Nikki Kerr. Hi, everybody. And everybody else that's watching that's not in the live stream commenting. Um, <clears throat> one of you uh, in the comments, let me know about this whole Steven Anderson thing. It's getting wacky again. And uh, as I wrote in the description of this video, um, Anderson was a no-name Baptist preacher. Nobody watched the guy, or very few people watched the guy, until he had his little run-in with the Border Patrol. They, you know, did the professional wrestling thing. You, you have blood, you know, up here. You do your cut up here, and then you have the blood going, and and whatever. Uh, and all of a sudden, he's famous. All oh, Baptist pastors has been persecuted by Border Patrol and all this other stuff. Yeah. And um, he came out with some of the most idiotic heresies I've ever heard of. Jesus burned in hell was one of his debunked thoroughly. I've done multiple studies on that. Um, the whole post-trib, pre-wrath post-trib thing, debunked that. Um, America is Babylon, debunked that. That was easy. Um, you know, Holocaust denial, debunked that. Um, just on and on. The reprobate doctrine. Certain people, they can't be saved. You know, limited atonement is basically what that is. It's just kind of tweaked a little bit. Um, and he's now, you know, come out multiple times against the King James Bible. Changed the King James Bible back when I was rebuking him. Come out and uh, change the King James Bible. It says it's in error and whatever else. The point of this study that I'm doing here real quick, just a quick video, is to say, to put it out there for all the people out there in the secular world, Stephen Anderson and his family, they're white trash. They're disgusting individuals. These people are not Christians. They're not King James Bible believers. Okay? Do not try to pin what his disgusting satanic family is doing on those of us that hold to the King James Bible. Okay. I've been saying that for many years. That's why I came out against him and I've exposed this guy so many different times. Um, I mean, he's been worthy of, he's a real idiot, but uh, let me, um, let me just show you a couple of things here. Okay. Here's a bunch of the videos I've done. You can watch some of this stuff. Um, you know, I've seen, they, back they were defending him, you know, uh, Stephen Anderson, um, and then they did take his channel down. But uh, just thought that was kind of an interesting thing that they were doing that. Um, and, of course, he went along with the whole COVID thing, by the way, too, you know. So that was when a lot of his following realized what he was. Uh, he's going to stand up and he won't take the mark of the beast. But they'll put it on a face mask and they make face masks at their church. Uh, <laughs> okay. But um, it's so funny, you know, he's come out, he's a hardcore, you know, he's against, you know, marching to Zion. He's got this video exposing the Jews. And then he has this guy here, Ben the Baptist, which his real name is Benjamin Naim. He's a Jew. <laughs> and I brought that up in one of his videos and in the comments and people are going, what? You know, Ben the Baptist is a Jew? I thought we were supposed to hate the Jews. <laughs> and he go, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm a Jew. You know, and they, just these guys are just, it was a psyop. And all these little uh, new IFB hirelings are just a bunch of devils. But thankfully, a lot of people, a lot of the viewers of this channel, you used to watch Steven Anderson. Then you came here and got straightened out doctrinally. You know, so good. I uh, praise the Lord for that. But um, what's the point? Steven Anderson was born through drama, and now he wants to be reborn through drama. His channel was taken down and, and he just kind of went underground for a little while. And now it's coming back out and he's going to make a big, huge, big thing about this. Uh, and here's uh, his this wicked kid here, 
This is the oldest of the Anderson children. Not going to play any of it. I don't need to vex my followers, uh, the, the viewers. See, I'm a Christian, you know, and so I don't use profanity. That's been a historic stand of Christians. I have plenty of studies on that issue. Um, out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Book of James. Okay, Peter, when he denies Jesus Christ, they say, you know, I think that you're one of them. And what does Peter do to convince them that he's not? He begins to curse and swear. That's the mark of a lost person. Okay, I didn't say that you can't, you know, I slept, uh, a word slipped out of my mouth or something. That's one thing. You say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. I've heard Christians do that. Okay, fine. Watch your language. But the whole point is, when you just cuss and there's no, oh, excuse me, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm, I get around lost people. And they say, oh, excuse my French and whatever else. But these people can just use profanity. These white trash, disgusting people can use profanity. And there's no apologizing for it or whatever else. This pervert here, he said, disclaimer, this video contains lots of profanity. Put the kids to bed first. Oh, so you can do things, you know, it's, a, it's okay among adults to use profanity. And this new IFB cult, these people just cuss freely. There's no, there's no Holy Spirit there. All right. Uh, and then here's another one of the Anderson boys, um, nose ring, long hair, coming out and talking about sexually perverted stuff and whatever else. And they were beaten and I make mean, all this dramatic stuff and whatever. Just air your dirty, disgusting, filthy laundry online for everybody to see. Let's just do this. Oh, we're Christians. Oh, we still believe in Jesus. We're still Christians. This isn't Christianity. OK, not at all. And of course, oh, the church, you know, is just covering up all this stuff. And we're just, you know, Stephen, Pastor Anderson is still, he's not a pastor. And of course, you have this one right here, this Isaac Anderson, the, the uh, second oldest boy, I guess what it is, oldest spawn, whatever you want to call him. And he's got this Nazi tattoo on his uh, chest here. You know, <laughs> okay. Um, did, didn't Stephen Anderson say in one of his videos that he had the DNA test done and that he has Jewish blood in him? Wouldn't that have qualified you from being a Nazi? But, you know, these people have rocks for brains. They can't think that far. And then, you know, Anderson's coming out and he's back in here. He's showing his his brother's, you know, address, street address, phone numbers and things like this. I mean, pictures of his sons, pictures of him, everything. Just get the dirty laundry out there. Let's see if we can get up, you know, Get some things drummed up here again and and whatever. These people are disgusting. And uh, you just type in Stephen Anderson and uh, this dead domain or whatever else. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl or I have no idea. You know, um, I watched this one. You can see the red line underneath it there. And, you know, it, they, thing, whatever the thing is, you know, uh, unicorn, uh, whatever it identifies as. I'll I'll give it credit at least that it was saying you know, it was it was kind and and trying to you know let the Anderson's daughter speak and whatever else. So I appreciate the the you know somewhat scholarly way that it was presented, but I don't know what the thing is. So um, you know I'm so sick and tired of this whole woke culture thing. Whatever it's, it's satanic, people being ashamed of how God made them to be. And a lot of them, it's because they came out of the white trash system that Stephen Anderson was part of. And they go and they get, um, you know, horrible things done to them as children. And then they come out, their heads are all screwed up. And then they're, you know, they come out hating God and they end up, you know, looking like this or, or like that or, you know, like this here, you know. Um, so, I mean, the daughter, you know, at least she looked, she still has the cult look to her, you know. and whatever else, but just dragging the name of Jesus Christ through the mud to get attention. That's what this whole thing is. I don't care. They're disgusting people. Um, you know, I did a video on the whole thing of, uh, let's go to my channel here. Uh, the Jack Hiles thing. Let me just type in Jack Hiles. You can watch it. It's the Jack Hiles cult is what it's about. Um, again, these people, they teach that there's no repentance of sin. There's no new birth or whatever else. Um, the truth about Jack Hiles, parts one, two, and three, and four, I guess, um, played a thing from 
What's that? Oh, it's been blocked in some countries or regions. Okay. <laughs> Add it to the list. Um, you know, I that, that was a uh, interview, I think, with um, um, Victor Nishik, I think, if I remember correctly. So they, they, why they guess so. No, there's the testimony of Victor Nishik. What's the, I don't know what the thing was there, why they're blocking that. Uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, this stuff here, it's just belief. There's no changed life. There's no repentance attached to it. Um, you can pray a prayer, prayer. You don't have to pray a prayer. This, it's this fake Christianity stuff. And, you know, they use the King James Bible, and but they don't follow it. And they twist it and they all kinds of stuff. Um, so uh, not going to be doing a big, huge thing on this whatever else but uh i just wanted to come out and make a video on this really quickly just to get this out get it said um don't you know i i started watching this thing here got a few minutes in and it's disgusting and you know i don't really need to hear people that profess to be saved just using all kinds of profanity this pervert here as well um i mean this is this is white trash <laughs> personified a disgusting filthy bunch of lost people trying to drag the, the name of Jesus Christ through the mud. Um, and that's all that this is. Okay. So um, that's going to be it. Uh, these people, they're disgusting. I've been warning about Stephen Anderson for years. And uh, by the fruits, you shall know them. Okay. So um Yeah, I'm just looking at some of your comments here. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to be doing some other, you know, videos and things. I find it funny, too, that, you know, I said about the, that I'm going to be exposing this book right here. How to Understand Your Bible by Manly P. Hall. And, you know, I was trying to get to the notes today. We had to go shopping and, um, but I, you know, I wanted to get to doing the notes for this because it's got some really crazy stuff in it. Um, and then this whole drama thing comes up and I've been trying to check into this, what's going on here. And, um, so, but, uh, stay away from the Steven Anderson cult. These people are Satanists. So I'm sure that that's going to get come out. It might go to mainstream media distracting from the stuff that's really going on in the country too, I might add. Um, so uh, let me put up one of the comments here. Please talk about current world events. Thanks. Um, I am considering maybe doing some more live streams with some end time event type of stuff. I was actually saving up some different articles and different things about end times type of stuff. But I've been doing some other things, so I haven't been able to get to doing a live stream. But I might actually, I might actually do that. So thank you for the suggestion. Um, I really do appreciate that. And so, okay. Uh, thank you to everybody out there for all your kind words. So that will be it. And um, yeah, it's a, just show another comment here. It's a good one. New Age Nut Jordan Maxwell's good friend, Manly Hall. Yeah, um, I was watching some of uh, Jordan Maxwell's stuff and things. I heard of him years ago, many years ago, back in 2001, and um, started looking into some of his stuff. And I you know, was kind of checking out some of his stuff about the the ocean stuff and the, the marine insurance world and, and a lot of that other stuff. And I started realizing, wait a second, <laughs> a lot of this, it sounds interesting. But he's not really proving his points. There's no documentation or anything else. And yeah, he got it from this guy right here. We talk more about that when I do the video. So, um, um, question Do you see a crazy event before November election? Yes, I do. Uh, watch out for the uh, infamous October surprise. I think they're going to be doing something, especially probably on the 7th. Um, the 1st of October, they're saying that uh, the ports here in America, I've heard that they're not going to be 
unloading ships, which could cause supply chain shortages, uh, food shortages, whatever else. October 7th, they're saying that they might have another attack on Israel. Well, you know, on the one year anniversary, you have the October 22nd through 24th, I think, is the BRICS meeting. So, yeah, there will be some big stuff in October. And uh, certainly. Um, ah, missed that one. Moved up just as I was clicking. Freemason Manley Hall. Yes. Freemason, Freemasonic philosopher and pastor <laughs> uh, Manley P. Hall. Um, so. All right. That's going to be it. Um, and yeah, that too. Congress said as much preparing for mass casualty event. Yeah. So, okay. That will be it. See everybody in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.